to throw on second down. Watson forced out to his left. He's letting this one go. Got a man open. It's Fuller for the Texans touchdown. Will Fuller, 36 yards. And the Texans will add on to their lead. Such an art to dot the I, just get the feet in right there against the line before going out of bounds. Such an incredibly graceful, athletic play, but also a lot of practice goes into it. They work on that to make sure that they learn how to train their feet to get down in bounds. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Short, short kick. Well, the up middle take it now. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. the interception here's Wilson and the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett and he's brought down they call it a gain of 19 and it moves the chains decent start to the drive there of course they need the touchdown two-point conversion and a field goal yeah those guys are into it how about the guys on the sidelines you see the coaches signaling all the personnel groups up on the sideline ready to go in and out of the game they've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into it now it's Wilson, and a grab made by Doug Baldwin. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. First down, this is Rawls. And he is knocked down and then landed on pretty awkwardly at the 14. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. They go again with Rawls. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Jumping all the way from the outside, maybe getting a little early start in the corner blitz. And the only time it makes sense to get that penalty is exactly as you described. Otherwise, he should never get that penalty. Rawls, the lone man in the back. And this is caught for a touchdown. We'll check the flag, but it looked like a clear offsides, and it should stand. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. All right, now the Seahawks face a big two-point conversion attempt. He's back to throw, and this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points that gets him back within a field goal. So still a little work to do here, but they got the much-needed conversion. So they got that taken care of. Now you would assume onside kick in order to try and get the ball back again, in order to try and kick at least a tying field goal. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. This is taken at his four. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. And here comes the Texans now. 
They've got the lead by three, late stages of the game. What's the message here? Just hang on to the football? Is it that simple? That's exactly right, because ball security is paramount. And you got a small cushion, a field goal can tie you, but you don't even think that way. Just take care of the ball, close out the game. Will they close it out? We're about to find out. Watson's going to throw it here. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw it back. He's got a man complete. The 30. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. A huge play there for Houston. 54 yards. And they'll try to save the timeouts to use on defense if need be as he runs up and spikes it. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Here we go. Now it's Watson. Flushed out right. Oh, no, he lost the football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. No partner, they went empty set there. No bats in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit and not go down and fumble the ball. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw. Got a man that's caught at the six-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, I guess at the very least, they got the tackle from keeping him out of the end zone. Yeah, you're looking for that silver lining, aren't you? But guess what? Everything changes now after that big play. They've got a chance to strike. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown! And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you've got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And that will make this a four-point game. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Texans set to come onto the field. One possession game, time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. He'll look to throw. Fighting to stay upright. 
And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, we've seen him target one of their main weapons time and time again. Maybe they went to that well too many times there. Yeah, and it's so difficult to determine how many times is too many because how many times have we seen a team go and play and say, until they stop us, we'll keep going. Well, they got stopped on that one, and it cost them six points. Throwing after the interception, Davis. This will be caught at about the five. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. And now on is the field goal unit. And boy, this is speculative at best, crazy at worst. On first and 10, Savage fighting down past the 45. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Now we'll get whistles, and they signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. And this looks to probably be the final play. One last throw here for Watson. Rolling to his right. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they could look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence to give up that many points. Even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.